friends it's Amanda here and today we're talking about the new MAC collection for spring 2019 it's called boom boom bloom and it is so beautiful I love the packaging of this collection it's very pink and cherry blossoms and spring it's just I love a really gorgeous girly floral theme and this is really doing it for me this collection is currently available from MAC and most of the retailers that carry MAC. I'm gonna link all the stores that have this collection for sale that I can find online down in the description box. So if you're looking for these pieces, check down there and hopefully I've been able to track down this collection in a few different retailers for you. There's a lot of pieces in this collection, so I'm not wasting any time. Let's talk about this product first. If you know me, if you've watched my videos, you know I love MAC Fix Plus. I was so obsessed with the Coconut Fix Plus, then they finally made it permanent. This is a cherry blossom scented Fix Plus. This is a full size Fix Plus bottle. As you can see, completely limited edition packaging. The cap, I don't know if it shows up on camera as much with this ring light shining on us, but there's like a pink iridescence to the cap. It's just the little details, you know? This Cherry Blossom Fix Plus is retail priced at 28 US dollars. Did I buy two of them? Yes, I did. Yes, I very much did. <laughs> and I don't regret it for a second. I'm not typically a fan of very floral scents, but this I do like. It has almost a sweet vanilla sort of edge to it. It's very light, it's very fresh. I will be bathing in this shortly, as soon as I'm done filming this video. These were the first products that we saw images of when this spring line was sort of leaking out onto the internet. These powders are so, so beautiful. We have that pearly, sort of pinky iridescent sheen on the compacts here, and then of course the cherry blossom petals, and then when you open up inside, I mean, come on. How beautiful is that? This pinky shade is called Fleur Real. This is the one that I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I'm not wearing any bronzer or highlighter, just this glowy blush on my cheeks. And this deeper, more bronzy shade is called Spring Bling. Oh, so pretty. These highlight powders are priced at 30 US dollars a piece and that shimmeriness is just an overspray underneath. You are getting more of a satin finish powder, so you're really only gonna get that shimmeriness for a couple uses, first couple of uses, and then you're gonna get more of a satiny shade. I don't know if you can tell, but from where I used this one, it was completely shimmery like this, and then this is where I dipped my blush brush in. So you can tell that that shimmery overspray comes off the top. I was so sad to use it, but I did it for you. For me, these kind of pieces really are more of a collector's item, more of an art piece. That concept really seems to bother some people. I am a makeup collector, just like people collect art or stamps or shoes or whatever it may be. I prefer to keep these kind of special limited edition compacts as collector's items but I still think that the product inside is really beautiful. I'm just probably gonna try to preserve mine as much as possible, but that's just my prerogative. There are five lipstick shades and four lip glass shades in this collection. I do have all four lip glasses, but I only have three out of the five lipsticks. Again, beautiful cherry blossom print special packaging. I just love this collection, it's so pretty. This is the lipstick packaging. I love these, so pretty. The lip glasses are $18.50 US a piece and the lipsticks are $19.50 US. I'm not going to layer any of the lipsticks and lip glosses. I want you to see all of these shades on their own individually. 
That way you can kind of help decide if you wanna purchase any of these. So let's jump into the lip swatches now and then we'll get into the eyeshadow palette. The very last thing we have to talk about here is this Kabuki Doll 9 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. It's so cute. I know I say that for every single piece. I just really love this packaging. This is the exact same size and shape as their other 9 Pan palettes. It's just got this gorgeous limited edition packaging. As usual, the shade names are not printed inside next to the pans, but there is a little sticker on the back that tells us all the shade names. In this palette, you can see there's no mirror or anything like that. This does have a magnetic closure. It does not come with a brush, a sponge tip, or any kind of applicator. And in the middle here, we have three matte shades, and then on either side, we have six shimmers. I'm gonna do some swatches of these eyeshadows for you. I will be doing both finger and brush swatches on the back of my hand with no primer down first. The finger swatches will be on top and then the brush swatches will be below. For the brush swatches, I'll be using my e.l.f. flat eyeshadow brush and I'll clean the brush off in between each shade using the Vera Mona color switch. Here we have the first round of swatches. This is a really shimmery bright white called Dust Off. It's a frost. Next we have this beautiful mauve matte shade called Mauvey Moves. Next up a Velux Pearl. This is a really soft silvery grayish purple. Beautiful cool tone shade. This one's called Tokyo Drifter. Next up my favorite shade in the palette. This one is called Don't Be Coy. It's a frost. And last up for this round, another matte. This is a medium warm brown called Spice Dynasty. And here we have the last round of swatches. First up, we have a warm pale bronze called Bamboozled. Next, a shimmering rose gold called Fortune Cookie. A deep matte brown called Kabuki Doll. And lastly, this gorgeous metallic red this one's called Kyoto Kitty, and for the brush swatch, this is the only one that I added Fix Plus to. Look at that effect. Look at that like pinky shine that you get versus just a dry finger swatch when you apply with a little Fix Plus. It completely transforms the shade. So cool. Now that you've seen all the eyeshadow swatches, I'm gonna jump into a quick tutorial using this Kabuki Doll palette to create the eye look that I'm wearing in today's video, and then I'll wrap up all my thoughts at the end. As usual, I'm starting off with my favorite eye base. It's the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. I did not set my base today. I just went straight in with this matte shade called Making Mauve Moves. I'm really just messily blending that all over the crease of my eye and dragging it down onto the lid a bit. Next, I'm going to go in with Bamboozled and using a flat packing brush, I'm going to build that up on the outer part of the eye. This is really better applied with the finger, but it went okay with the brush in this instance. Now I'm going to use my finger to apply the shade Don't Be Coy, just packing that all over the inner part of my lid. This is so bright. And these metallic shades just look so beautiful when applied with the fingertip. Now I'm mixing the two darker matte browns, Spice Dynasty and Kabuki Doll, and just deepening up that outer corner a bit. Next, I'm taking just Spice Dynasty on a small flat brush and putting that all along the lower lash line, really lightly blending that out. 
And of course, I'm gonna use dust off for the inner corner with a small detail brush. Then I curled my lashes and added some of my CoverGirl Exhibitionist mascara. And that's the finished look. It's very neutral, very soft, very spring. I know this is a super basic neutral look, but I love it. This is like my go-to look. I did want to mention that two of the shades in this collection have been previously released in other limited edition collections for MAC. As far as I can tell, the only reappearing shades are the lipstick in the shade Tisk Tisk. That previously appeared in one of their Look in a Box sets. It was the face kit called Be a Headhunter. I do not have that. I don't even know when that was released, but from my research, that lipstick in Tisk Tisk has been previously released but not, of course, not in the special packaging. The only other shade that I could find that has previously appeared is this bright white frosty eyeshadow. This did appear as a single in the Mirage Noir collection from last summer. So it's no secret MAC does have many shades that they bring back and re-promote every once in a while in different limited edition collections. I just wanted you to be aware of that. And if there are any others that I missed when I was researching, definitely drop a comment and let me know so that I can add that to the description box. I'm sure you could tell throughout the video as I was just raving about how beautiful this collection is, I absolutely love this packaging. It is so spring. It's just completely on point for the season. Just from a packaging and limited edition collecting standpoint, I love this powder in the shade Fleur Real, the pinky one. I just think both of the highlighting powders are absolutely stunning. Just to look at, very beautiful. I thought that this looked great on the face as well. But from a collector standpoint, this is my favorite piece in the collection. From an actual product use standpoint, I have three really standout favorites from this collection, my top three things that I'm gonna recommend. First of all, no surprise here, I'm a big fan of Fix Plus. I love to use this as a refreshing spray. I like to use it after I apply powders to either enhance the shine of my highlight or just help set down any powderiness because I have dry skin, Fix Plus has been my best friend for a long time. This scent is really gorgeous and fresh and just like makes me feel happy inside. If you're a Fix Plus fanatic, this cherry blossom scent is a must try. Of the many lip products, this was an instant favorite for me. This is the lip glass in the shade Heart Melter. It is the shade that I've been wearing throughout the talking portions of the video. It just has the perfect amount of opacity to where it really shows up on my lips but it doesn't feel sticky or goopy. Sometimes when glosses are very opaque and they show up really well on the lips, they tend to be a little too thick for me. This is the perfect balance. I just, I love the color, I love the formula, I love the vanilla scent, I love the beautiful packaging. This is definitely my favorite of all the lip products. For some reason, I feel like this is gonna be an unpopular opinion, but my last favorite, and probably something I'm gonna be reaching for a lot in the coming months, is the Kabuki Doll palette. I know that it's not cool to like neutrals right now. Everybody is so over neutrals and they only want color. This is the kind of thing that I see as a staple. The mattes are just buttery, easy to blend, the perfect neutral shades that I need for any eye look. They apply like a dream with the brush. The shimmers are so intense and just warm and bright and everything that I want. I love a shimmery, neutral like bronze or rose gold eye and this is just giving it all to me. I love that they have these two more cool toned options if you wanted to go in a more cool or true neutral direction. You have these options here. My only complaint is that these three like bronzy shimmer shades do end up looking kind of similar on the eye. I would have loved to see one of those replaced with a pink shade since all the packaging is really pink. I would have loved to see like a mid-tone 
pink shimmer or even like a magenta matte shade just to give it a little bit of a pop, make it a little bit different. But honestly, I'm so happy with the performance of these shadows. This is the kind of thing that I'm gonna love to travel with. When I'm traveling, I really want a small palette that has all of those go-to neutral shades where I know I'm just gonna easily be able to throw a couple shades on and get a look that I'm really happy with. I have a feeling that this palette is not gonna be like super well loved just because neutral palettes are not in right now, but I don't care. I love it. I'm so, so happy with the formula in here. I feel like for a while there, MAC's smaller palettes were not super great, but Maybe two years ago they reformulated them. The time when they came out with the semi-sweet palette is when things really started looking up and I think this may be the best quality small palette that I've ever tried from MAC. I think the whole collection overall is really beautiful. I love how springtime and girly, it just, make, it just makes me feel happy, you know what I mean? I would love to hear your thoughts on this collection. Have you picked anything up? Is anything on your wish list? Which shades are your favorites? Leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I love you. <sighs> These are <laughs> what? Does anyone know? No. What am I talking about? Let's just do a highlighter dance. With the printed pitic temp. Eh. Swatching matte lip liquid lipstick is the worst thing ever. I that's an exaggeration, but mm, I tried my best. That's all I can do. All I can do is try. These look super similar, but they're not. This one's pink and this one is peach, okay? And if you don't know the difference, I'm here to explain it to you. Maybe if I have like a sexy date night this summer, I'll bust out this lipstick. But I have a four year old, so that's not very likely to happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's hit, it's hit. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I love that sound, that's so satisfying. I'm gonna show you some, it's hit. Ma'am, can you speak? I'm glad I got my one use and now I'll never use it again. <laughs> Just being honest. I still haven't figured out my camera yet, so I'm getting used to it. Uh, what button did I just push? I know it's not cool to like neutrals, but I like neutrals, so. These shimmers are everything. Oh, I love a neutral shimmer. I know that's like a really weird thing to get excited about, but here we are. So pretty. So pretty. The only other th 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 this highlighter highlight hi hi hi. What are you? I recommend this if you're a, a <laughs> uh, is that a crazy thing to say? <laughs> Feeling crazy. Okay. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. You are fantastic. Bye bye. bye. <laughs>